Well, Facts of Mars. And this is the Mental Disorder of Liberalism update. New York Daily News has an article which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, this to a guide for people who want to leave America because Donald Trump gets elected. Right here you see the uh, cover apparently New York Daily News. And of course there's a picture of Trump right on the front. Remember when you said you'd leave the U.S. if Trump were elected? We don't blame you. It's time to start planning. Well, don't let your don't let door hit you on the way out. And I'll show you the article. If it ever comes up. Here's a caption on the picture. Don't want to live here if the spray tan megalomaniac compulsive liar is elected to the highest office in the land? Don't worry, neither do we. Take a good look at all your options if Donald Trump is, God forbid, wins presidency. For folks across the nation, election Donald Trump would make America great again, not G R E A T, but G R A T E. Mere thought of President Trump taking oath of office in January 20, 2017 has already led to threats from U.S. citizens that would leave our red, white, and blue borders behind if the Donald reaches White House. I don't know what's behind all this hatred of Trump. It's just, He's catching it on the right, and he's catching it on the left, too. Tycoon turned politician won at least seven states on Super Tuesday, putting him one step closer to the White House and his critics, and their plentiful are one step closer to the border. Since declaring his candidacy last June, Trump has insulted everybody from John McCain, Pope Francis, the Mexicans, the Muslims, the Megyn Kelly. Left-leaning Amer Americans have been threatening to leave the country since Trump announced his candidacy last summer in a hate-filled derogatory speech which he called Mexicans rapists and drug dealers. Uh, that's BS, by the way. That is bullshit. But He didn't call all Mexicans rapists and drug dealers. That is a lie. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Of course, such stress are nothing new. Late director Robert Altman said during the 2000 election, becoming the first celebrity to say, leave the U.S. of George W. Bush was elected, but the threatened escape never happened. He died in Hollywood six years into the Bush presidency. So let's look at where they're going, thinking about going. Singapore is one place that's uh, mentioned. And Good luck there. Uh, it's been on the sidewalk and get whipped or something. It, it's a nice looking place, I have to admit. I've been there. It's Ecuador, the cheapest and friendliest country when it comes to personal finances. Ecuador might be the answer. No, ranks number one for cost of living is high on lists of just plain happiness. South American country goes easy on expats. Wallets ranking number one for cost of living in Ecuador. Only 9% of the disposable income isn't... Only 9% so that it isn't enough compared to the global average of 23. And one of the massive shavings 
coach expats southern you'll be greeted by tons of friendly faces Ecuador is the easiest country for expats to make the new friends unbelievable safest country is Austria home of Adolf Hitler that I shouldn't bring that up. The most American non hatred non American country. Love America by hate America. Love Americans by hate America. Mexico could be your new home. Yes, you'll have to worry about tyranny and drug laws, but at least you can spend your Trump three days talking about American things that you actually miss, perhaps starting with New York City pizza. You know, always have a friend who gets exactly why your homeland is no longer the one that you prized. Then I talk about Canada. There's actually a campaign in Canada for uh, Cape Breton Island. Which is a place where they're kind of encouraging Trump haters to go. And it goes on and on about how to do this. And of course they have another meme picture of Donald, the Donald here. Now, I don't think the guy is perfect, but come on. Are you, uh, left just going to run from this country every time a Republican gets put in office? I mean, this guy has a vision for the country. I don't love him, but he's the best one for the job. And I've said so before. He has my personal endorsement, and I'm not taking it back. You would really have to do something stupid to get me to take my personal endorsement back. So far, he's been all mouth, which is typical in a presidential campaign. He acts like a real person for a change, and that's what I like about him. I just got some of these people act like cardboard cutouts. I don't know, it's weird. Well, that's about that. Uh, lefties are getting ready to flee the country. It's not just lefties. I know a local talk show host named... Shannon Joy, and she's on the right, and she hates Trump with a passion. She, in her case, she says she's going to leave the Republican Party if she gets the nomination. Thanks for watching. This has been Artifacts of Mars. Remember, liberalism is a mental disorder. These people are mentally ill.